One of the three men charged in the Crystal Rogers case says he was promised immunity for testimony. Steve Lawson's attorney wants charges against his client dropped. The hearing later this month, the attorney will ask a judge to toss out the case or at least throw out the statements Lawson made to investigators. Lawson's son, Joseph, and Roger's ex-boyfriend, Brooks Halk, are also facing charges. Let's bring in WDRB reporter Jason Riley. Steve Lawson's attorney, Ted Lavitt, has told us Steve had been offered immunity several times and talks stopped, and now he's charged. What are you expecting from this case this month? Well, uh, Theodore Lavitt has said all along that uh, Steve Lawson has worked with the FBI, that he's worked with officials that he uh, went in on his own to talk to the grand jury in 2015, um, that he went back and talked to the grand jury in 2023, and that a detective said to the grand jury, you're here because you have an agreement. Um, and that the, the prosecutor in the case, Shane Young, has said, if you tell me 100% the truth, you have immunity, it's on tape. So uh, he included in this uh, motion all these snippets of investigators saying, if you work with us, you know, you're going to get immunity. You're not going to be charged. Now, is one of the questions, did, was he 100% truthful? Because that is kind of littered in this, you have to be 100% truthful, you have to be 100% truthful, and maybe that's what will come out later. I, I tried to talk to the prosecutor, Shane Young, and he did not comment. And also, Lavitt said Steve picked up Joseph, who was driving Crystal Rogers' car that had a flat tire. Lavitt said Steve even took out a mini Louisville Slugger bat from the car, claiming that was Joseph's. So how does that play into charges? Well, one thing we kind of learned in the, this new motion is Lavitt says that Lawson was charged for um, assisting in moving the vehicle. And I think that's the, the first time we've heard that. Uh, Lavitt, all he, all he has said is that um, uh, Lawson was called to the scene where his son had been driving the car. He picked his son up. He got a miniature baseball bat out of the car that he thought belonged to his son and gave it to him and they went home, but that he did not move the vehicle at all. So apparently the tampering charge is uh, allegedly that he had some involvement in actually driving, moving the vehicle. Because originally they thought he said that the car had a flat tire and he only picked up his son. So right. now this and, and just and, you know, and just picked something up out of the car mm -hmm. and had no other, uh, you know, contact with it. So that's kind of the first we're hearing that he may have moved it. More information continues to unfold in this case. You can read more about the case right now on our website, WDRB.com.